What's up, everyone? I'm your weatherman, Liam Kenny, and I am here. Um, I'm going to be starting my my uh, second podcast today. Um, this this podcast is going to be about tornadoes. Um, this will be my um, part one of my tornado podcast. I'm probably going to do maybe two or three podcasts. Um, but in this uh, if, in this part one of my podcast, I'm going to talk about what tornadoes are in general, how they form, um, and how meteorologists categorize them. Okay. So you might ask yourself, what is a tornado? Well, tornadoes are spinning columns of air that touch the ground. Now, many people think that they see a tornado in the atmosphere and that they form in the air. But actually, tornadoes form on the ground because um, a tornado in the air is just called a funnel cloud. A tornado is not actually considered a confirmed tornado unless it is, um, unless those clouds are rotating and they are touching the ground, you know, kicking up so much debris. Now, how a tornado forms is that tornadoes form from supercell thunderstorms. You need a lot of warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico and a lot of cool, dry air coming down from Canada. Now, when these two air masses meet, they create a lot of instability and rotation in the atmosphere. Now, whenever you say you, if you have a tornado warning in your area, you might and you know and you see the weatherman on TV reporting it, um, you might see a velocity radar, which means what you'll probably see anywhere um, around um, red and green air masses. Now, the green means that the radar is going away from the radar, and the red means that the wind is going towards the radar. Now, when you get those two air masses um, going right next to each other, that creates a lot of rotation in the atmosphere, and then you get those clouds rotating down the gr- down to the ground, and there you have it—you have a tornado. Now, the way that meteorologists categorize tornadoes is by using the enhanced Fujita scale. Now, whenever you hear, like, if you have an EF0 tornado, the, obviously the E and the F means enhanced Fujita, okay? So now there's, uh, there's six different ratings um, for tornadoes. They, go, they stretch all the way from EF0s to EF5. Obviously, the zeros being, you know, the best tornado that you can get. And obviously, the EF5 is being the worst tornado that you can get. Now, an EF0 is the is the best tornado that you can get, and it has wind speeds anywhere from 65 to 85 miles per hour, and you really won't have that too, and you really won't have too much damage. Now, with an EF1, you're going to have wind speeds of 86 to 110 miles per hour, and you might have a little bit more damage with that one. Now, an EF2 um, tornado has wind speeds of 111 to 135 miles per hour, and there and there'll probably be some um, consi- geez, considerable considerable Geez, considerable damage. I could not say that word. Excuse me for that. Now, with an EF3 tornado, you're going to have wind speeds of 136 miles per hour to 165 miles per hour. Now, you might have some really bad, um, good, good damage with that one. Now, at EF4, this is this is equivalent to around a uh, to, this is equivalent to around to around a Category 5 hurricane. You're going to have wind speeds of 166 to 200 miles per hour. That is extreme damage. Now, with an EF5, you're going to have wind speeds over 200 miles per hour, and there's going to be just complete devastation. I mean, I mean, there's going to be nothing left. I mean, there might be a few trees standing, but homes are going to be absolutely level. Roofs are going to be gone. There's going to be absolutely nothing left. Now, coming up uh, in part two of my pro- in, in part two of my podcast, I'm going to talk about what the actual damage is, what you can really expect to tornadoes, and just the form and just the form that they take. Okay, that is all coming up. So definitely be sure to um, stay tuned to my channel. Um, if you guys haven't seen my hurricane podcast, definitely check that out. Um, I uploaded it um, last week. Um, there's four parts to it, so definitely be sure to um, stay tuned to my channel, Liam's Weather Reports, on YouTube for all the information. Thank you guys so much for watching, and have a great day.